Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my weekly analysis on the ES eMoney Futures, the S&P 500. I'm using the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. We're also available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and MultiCharts. So as usual, I'm start off on the weekly to see where it is. So we can see this week's just opened. Last week we had the big indecision doji there. Uh, still above the weekly center line there the, on the on the channel and at the moment this week's open this is Monday the 23rd uh, we are heading down to test that weekly channel we can see the moment this wave for pullback zones our probability zones here uh, it seems to be holding at the moment but the stochastics not gone into the oversold zone there which leads me to think potentially on the weekly time frame, there's some more downside to come to test this pre these previous lows. Now let's have a look what that looks like on the daily. So that same pullback zone here, uh, the, the wave for pullback zone on the daily did pull back below the, the red zone here, which is a last chance saloon, if you like, for a potential long. Um, the center line of the weekly channel, as you can see here, does hold holding as quite good support. We did get the double top here at 2,800, which seems to be too much for it at the moment. And then last week we came back down to test this lower trend line that we have here, which runs parallel to the center line of the weekly channel, and then bounced off it. So, and then what we have here is um, Friday's candle testing the low of the center line again and this is Mondays as we are right now as I'm making this video also I'd like to note that we have these slightly higher support levels on this move we are seeing some sort of contraction here on the price action uh, with 2800 um, being some major resistance but we are getting these slightly higher support levels and let's see if that continues this week as well on the daily which means we are edging higher um, but it's a very very weak move at the moment so what sort of trading opportunities do we have at the moment so on the 60 we have broken on friday this longer term trend line that we put in last week so i want to go and isolate the wave count at the low of this um, particular move and as you can see at the moment we have broken down below so let's just zoom in a little bit here so very corrective we've had a wave one and wave two now it didn't post a wave three because of percentages now it's pulled down below this um this trend line that we put in here this intraday trend line so we are looking to test the center line of the weekly channel again most likely today um, whether it will bounce off of that or not I have no idea but it is quite a strong support level there now obviously we've got this secondary support level on that on that uh, trend line running parallel so initially I'm not looking for shorts at the moment I'm just going to be seeing if this is tested this center line of this weekly channel is tested um, to look for the bounce and look for a um, a shorter term long bounce off there on the five minute now I would probably look to isolate the wave count on ES on the 60 minute uh, at the high of Friday here uh, sorry Thursday uh, and look for that wave count to continue down here uh, and look for a wave three wave four pullback and then the fifth wave move down but we're very early on in the week at the moment what I'm looking for today is some sort of support and a bounce back up on the shorter time frames on intraday as I said we could see a further move down test this center line of the weekly channel and then even further down so for me preferably this week the, the bigger trade for me intraday would be for this trend line to be tested on a wave three at some stage this week then a wave four pullback probably up to the center line of the weekly channel and if this does happen that fifth wave move down 
would be the highest probability move this week. So that's an intraday trade. It may not happen, but that's what I'll keep it. That's when I'll be keeping an eye on, on the 60 minute time frame. That sort of move there where the wave three continues on the 60 minute down to test uh, this very strong trend, trend channel trend line that runs parallel to the center line of the weekly channel uh, and then a bounce back up testing that center line and then that's the move I'm looking for there now obviously with that in mind when I'm trading off the five minute time frame I'm going to be looking at that center line and this um, trend line here and then on the five minute time frame each day looking for those fifth wave moves either in that bearish direction um, on this initial impulse leg or in the bullish direction there but those will come uh, as and when in the trade room that I run every single day so that's it for this week that's a quick look at ES and see and seeing how I think it may progress this week so have a great trading week and I'll speak to you all on the 30th of April